Hi guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a cartoon beetle. We're gonna be using this marker. It's gonna be super simple for beginners. Beginners, it's gonna be step by step for beginners. This is easy pictures to draw. So uh, before we get into it, I'm gonna talk really quick. You can use any marker. You can use a Sharpie. I use this. This is a Faber-Castell PITT artist pen. Uh, Sharpies tend to give out this really gross smell, and that smell, I guess, is over time bad for your brain, I heard. Uh, so I use this. This has literally no smell at all, and it's like five times bigger than a Sharpie. It's also five times the price. A Sharpie is like what? A uh, Sharpie's like, what, 50 cents? This is uh, about $7 on Amazon, so go check that out. The link is in the description. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's get started on a cartoon beetle. We're gonna make it real simple for everyone. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a segment of the head. I'm gonna start like a very thin line right here. Another thin line. Pull across, down. I'm gonna have him bend sideways. And I'm going to throw a little U shape and straight. It's almost like this bizarre looking three, right? But I'm making the top segment of his of his of his head. Pull across, so you have the top segment of his head. And now what I'm gonna do is one of those big pinchers they have. Pulling in. In again and then pulls back into the head. And the same thing on the other end with the pinchers. After this can be super easy, next segment, the bug's body with the exoskeleton is kind of broken up real easy. Pulling in, pull across right here, you have the next segment. And then the largest segment is gonna come out Pull all the way back. It's gonna be like almost the for the length of this. Pull in, round, pull in, round. And it's gonna have a split segment. That's where I believe the split happens. And now all we have to do is draw the legs. And it's really simple. Let's draw the front ones. Draw a straight line, draw another straight line out. And then throw a little spikes at the end of it, like maybe three or four. Right here in the middle segment, same thing. Throw a little spikes at the end of that segment, it's just like little squares you're connecting. Pulling out, just kind of using the thickness of the marker. Having a little split at the end of that. One square little segment. Come out the other end. Another triangle segment. Three little spikes sticking out that triangle segment. And then I use the thickness of the marker to just kind of, you do that end of that leg. And then back. You can even do the whole thing like that. You can just kind of close these up and make, like, we can even do that, let's do that. Let's close those up for the legs and just have the legs be the thickness of the marker. See, one segment, two segments, and then three. Each leg has like three little sections. Let's do that last one down here. It's gonna be four pairs of legs. The last are probably gonna be the biggest. So I have like a long rectangular piece here, another one down here, and then another that breaks off. This is kind of like making it flat in the like kind of like the way when you see them in like museums and stuff they're laid out flat. Kind of looks a little bit trench like, but so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to throw since this middle section's not black, I'm going to throw a large 
thick line around that segment so that I feel it goes with the outer legs more. And so that kind of merges it together and makes it kind of unified because you want your drawings to be unified. Even if they are cartoony, uh, you want them to have this unified look to them. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you understood that. If it made sense, uh, please hit that like button. Also subscribe if you have not. I'm gonna be posting every single day, uh, usually around two o'clock Pacific Eastern, uh, Pacific time uh, in the States. Um, but thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Also, don't forget, if you like this type of drawing lesson, uh, please hit the uh, How to Draw Cute ebook. I'm going to put that in the description. That ebook has been getting a lot of hype. Thank you so much for everybody who's responded. It is totally free. It is if you want to draw cute things. It gives you an eight page layout of how to draw the proportions of something that's very cute. So you can take like a character you already like and draw them. Uh, in those proportions and that is a free ebook. It's easy to print out. It gives you those proportions so that you can apply them and it's just for you and it's totally free. It's in the description. It's gonna it's not gonna be free much longer honestly so uh, get that while it's free right now. But thank you so much guys. I appreciate it and I will see you in the very next video. So this is where I draw the line guys. See ya.